Hey folks, Barry from Levels here, currently social distancing in my home workshop. Some of you may know that in my civilian identity, I'm a puppeteer. Uh, now I have all kinds of materials here, but my job today is to show you guys how to make stuff out of things that you may have in your own house. What we're gonna be doing today is starting with the humble lunch bag. Now, you probably have a number of these around. Nobody is going out and taking their lunch out right now. So what are you gonna do with these? You're gonna make a friend. I'll show you. What you're gonna need is, of course, your humble lunch bag, a pair of scissors, can be big, can be small, we don't care. Paper, colored paper of any kind, really. Some markers, and we've got these handy little glue sticks. You can use any glue you have around, anything from Elmer's to hot glue, but these guys are simple and there's no mess. Okay, so what defines a puppet is movement. Somehow this puppet has to move in order to be a puppet. Now the lunch bag has this little flappy thing on it and we're gonna use that as our main point of movement. What you wanna do is make sure your mouth is within this little flappy thing and you can color it in. I'm gonna do that right now. Once you've got your little mouth, and again, make sure that your mouth doesn't extend beyond the little flap over there, then you can actually have your characters talk like this. Okay, so now it's time to decorate your little person. What are you gonna to use? Today, I wanna to focus on paper. Now, paper is dull and boring, right? Wrong! Paper is actually a really, really interesting material, and I'm gonna show you how you can do some dimensional things with these flat pieces of paper. Maybe I want a nose on my guy. So I'm gonna cut a nice little triangle. I try not to get too precious about it. There's a triangle. I'm gonna fold it in half, and I'm gonna fold the little edges over here a little bit like a paper airplane like a really, really thin paper airplane, because, ooh, I've made a nose. And I can glue that on. The reason for the little wings over here is so that you have a surface to glue with. The more surface that you can apply glue to, the better it's gonna stick. I'm just gonna cut this here like this, and I'm gonna cut a nice little fringy thing into it. Now you can use that as hair or beard or whatever. One of the things that I like to do is get a little messier with it and crumple it up. So if you do that, then you got this really messy, messy little hairdo that you can stick on. You cut a strip and you fold a little square over like that. You turn it over and you fold it the other way. Then you keep folding back, forth, back, forth, and you've got this little accordion thing. And if we just glue it on like this, you've got these bouncy little arms here. Now if I take this strip of paper and I pull it really sharply over the edge of the table, I create a curl. You want to get really fancy? Here, turn it over and go the other way for a little while. Ooh! Multiple curls. I'm gonna take this, and I'm gonna take one of my little markers here, and I'm gonna just sort of carefully, so I don't rip it, I'm gonna wind it around here. And when it comes off, got my little Shirley Temple sausage curl here. Make a whole bunch of these, you have a lovely hairdo. Maybe you wanna cut out two identical shapes, maybe for eyes or something. My favorite trick for doing this, take your paper, you fold it in half, and then you cut the shape you want, and you don't have to worry about matching because, ooh, ah. Now maybe you don't feel you have incredible artistic skill, and that's totally fine. That's where these magazines come in. I can cut out this little piece of hair over here. And I'm making a collage puppet. And have a lovely bit of hair. By the way, if you glue something, just glue it to the top bit. <laughs> because if you glue it here, you're gonna lock your mouth shut. You are going to take your little glue stick and start gluing all your little features onto this puppet. 
Very important to remember, you don't have to do the same features I do. You don't have to do the same character I do. You should do something that's entirely from your imagination. And things like the hair and the arms, I'm attaching them to the back of the puppet. Again, you want the puppet to be able to expand to take in your hand. If you want to get the hand to move, I will stick a pencil or a chopstick or a skewer, whatever I have around the house. I'm going to use some tape to do that right now to the hand. So I have what's called a control rod and I've created an orchestra conductor. Your puppet can be whatever you want, and you can use all of the things that I've taught you to make almost any kind of character. Uh, let's see what mine can do. Good evening, everyone. I am pleased to welcome you to the world premiere of Symphony Number no. 1 by me. Tune up. Oh boy. And begin! Stop! Stop! You've ruined my symphony! You've ruined everything! <laughs> and that's about it. Barry from Levels here saying, I hope this worked for you.